we are building a 6,500 gallon earth bag cistern that is going to last 20 times what these poly tanks will and be a quarter of the cost. Let's get into this build. We are getting into week three, I think, of this build, and we are coming up the walls. We're a couple feet up. We've still got around six or seven feet to go in vertical height, but the exciting part is we are almost at ground level. So our first step today is to finish getting all this backfilled and getting it ready for our buttressing, which is going to provide extra strength to the walls because we're gonna have a lot of pressure coming out when all this water is pushing and trying to knock this building over. So I bought this little Prius uh, probably five or six months ago. Absolutely love it. One thing I did was put in some better shocks um, so that it's actually lifted so we can get down the road and actually can hold an extra 500 pounds. I love going to Home Depot and loading up <laughs> the car with 500 pounds of concrete because I get the weirdest looks. We are moving right along in this project. We're getting the backfill in so that way we can get to ground level and start our buttressing. So, very exciting here. I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know how, but eventually this whole pile will be gone. Desert problems, early morning, snow shoveling, or uh, solar panels, not fun. We're moving on to the next step of this build and we're getting our buttressing in. What this is going to do is basically provide support for these longer walls because when we have this thing full of water, it's gonna be pushing a lot of pressure outwards. So these buttresses are going to make sure our build stays secure and stable. The first thing we have to do here is get water onto the ground and get some gravel onto the ground so that way we have a stable foundation for our bags to sit on. So crew's getting some gravel, we're getting this wet down, and we're gonna move on with bag work. To give you guys a quick update on Hyper Adobe bags and what they are and why we use Volm Company. We are an affiliate with Volm because they're the best bags I have seen around ever and worked with. We recently did a homestead swap with a group that was doing uh, Hyper Adobe bags and they use the cheap bags. So I wanna show you guys the difference between the cheap bags and the Volm bags. So this was some of the cheaper bags that was left over from the build that we helped out at. And you can see how thin this material is versus the Volm bags, which is really nice and thick and hardy. I was finding on our build at the other person's place with these bags, we were having rips like every single course, which is really frustrating. Um, it was really, really difficult to get the bags to be nice and thick and consistent versus our Volm bags, which basically, I mean, we've had, I don't know, less than a dozen rips total in this build, our big hyper adobe over there, our pit over there, like literally thousands and thousands of feet of this have been laid out here. And we've had like 10 or 12 rips and none of have been very bad. Whereas this was ripping 
every single time. You can see just how quickly that falls apart. We are an affiliate of, with Volm. And if you order through our link that is down below, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but helps support our channel. And so, yeah, it's they're not the cheapest. These are definitely a little bit cheaper, a couple hundred bucks cheaper um, over the course of a build, but $300 to not have it rip every single time is totally worth Volm. They're an American-made company. We've got a contact form on our website that you can get into contact with them. So go check out Volm if you want to do Hyperdobe. Best way to do earthbag building, in my opinion. So this is a little bit funny, the delivery driver for our pond liner, which is like 400 pounds, uh, took the wrong road because our roads are sucky when it comes to Google Maps. So I'm having to go and save him. All right, we got our package acquired. <laughs> I feel so bad for the delivery drivers out here. Um, they get just beat to hell on these roads. So the least I can do is meet him at the highway <laughs> after going down a rough road. All right, pond liner acquired. Now back to backward. We are getting so close to finishing out the bag work on this Hyper Adobe Cistern build. If you guys want to see more of this build as we finish it out, get the roof on, get some solar panels installed, get our pond liner in, all of the things that we need to do to finish this project, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now. We have videos coming out every week. And if you enjoyed this Hyper Adobe build, I have two more episodes of this build queued up, ready for you to go. Thank you guys for watching. Go build something cool.